We're going to collab together. And we're going to make a top 10. Our top 10. The point after is top 10. Heading into week 3. For reference on last week. So we got Georgia 1. Michigan 2. We had Florida State 3. Bama 4. We had Penn State 5. Washington 6. Tennessee 7. USC 8. Notre Dame 9. And Utah at 10. Just for reference. Now, Perfect. we look on to this next week. Georgia, Michigan, one and two. Are we in a disagreement of that? Solid. Sounds good to me. Solid. At three. I'm thinking Florida State. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Texas. Better win mm. compared to the Florida State win over LSU at this <laughs> moment in time. If we look down the road, maybe that LSU win for Florida State looks a little bit better. Mm. Um, I'm just going to go with the perception of Texas going on the road to Bama as opposed to Florida State playing a neutral side game with LSU. I can rock with that. Texas making it into our top 10. They were not ranked last week in our top 10, which is okay. Hey, that's how shocking that win was for sure. Um, Florida one. State four. We go with Florida State at four. Like it. Moves down one, but not because of their talent or what they've done. It's just how great of a win that was for Texas. Absolutely. Now we get into the good stuff. Five through eight. We had Penn State at five last week. I'm looking right now. Do we keep Penn State at five, or do we think we want to solidify a different team in there at five? I would say right now what USC is doing with Caleb Williams is better than what Penn was, State have done so far at this point. So I think they're right now a better team. I agree with that. And we look at Penn State's schedule real quick because USC, I agree with that. They've got Iowa next week. Not this week, but the week after. they got 25 Iowa, which will be a good game. They later got Ohio State. They got Michigan as well. So maybe that Iowa game will be something that we can see a ranked win-wise. But, yeah, USC, not great competition, but what Caleb Williams is doing right now is absolutely ridiculous. I'm fine with them at five. At six. At six. And is this where we put Penn State, or do we put a team like Washington with a good win last week? They've got Michigan State this upcoming week. They've been looking really good. Uh, do we do we squeeze Washington up? I'd be fine with Washington at six, which we had them at six last week. I'd keep Washington at six again because of the perception of what Washington is as a football team compared to Penn State right now. Okay, so Washington at six. Now, I think at seven, we've got to put Penn State at seven. I think they moved yep. down two spots. Um, not because of anything. We put Penn State at seven. Tennessee, we had at seven last week. From what I saw from him against Austin PA, I don't know if we put them in the top ten. Maybe even maybe ten or nine. I don't know. They did not look good against Austin PA last week. No. Yeah. I mean, Austin P plays them tough because I think it's actually in that. Like, I think Austin P is actually in Tennessee. So it's like mm. one of those like little like David and Goliath type moments yeah. for them every time yeah. they play Tennessee. Um, I think you'd like to hear this. I'm going to go with Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame has been more impressive than any of the other teams left in the top 10. So Notre, I think Notre Dame, Dame moves up eight. one spot from nine to eight. I like that a lot. Um, <clears throat> nine and 10. I think nine or 10, we've got to put Oregon in there after what we saw from Texas Tech. They were not in our top 10 last week. So I'm going to leave it up to you for nine and 10. Um, we've got Oregon still on the board. We've got Alabama in contention. We've got Utah. Um, we've got LSU. We've got Ohio State. Who are we kind of thinking there for that nine spot? Are we thinking Oregon here? Oregon, and then Alabama brings up the rear at 10. No Ohio State for me. Why? <clears throat> we all know why. <laughs> last time last time we said they haven't proved anything was Texas, and they won against Bama. But I agree with you. Youngston State, cool, McCord. That's your, ooh, okay, cool. You did it against Youngstown State, whatever. Okay, I can I can agree with you on that. Yeah, last year C.J. Stroud would have put up eighty five points in that game, <clears throat> and Kyle McCord put up forty. So, I think that's a problem. I don't think that Kyle McCord is the answer, but ultimately we'll see. Because if Week Four 